you realize that you haven't checked your email at all today. Checking it for the first time, you find it is flooded with requests for interviews. See, that call it matter. <laughs> but one email in particular catches your attention because of the author's unusual email address. Oh, God. All right, we're going mum on this one. Uh. Huh? Rachel and I are officially oh. mum on this topic. It's oh. another big branchy one. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. this one. <coughs> so uh, oh, this you get to make all your decisions. So it's me and, me and the chat on this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> From Robot Obsession 1987, subject amazing exclamation point exclamation point exclamation point. Oh, this point. is interesting because you're dealing with fans. I re yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just be reading this like I'm reading any other comment. Um, I read the article. You sound like a genius. Would you be interested in getting coffee sometime? I've been interested in robots for as long as I've lived, and I would love to meet you and Ian. Sincerely, Silas. Or Silas? Silas. Silas. I like Silas. Well, that's flattering. What will you do? Arrange to meet this person for coffee tomorrow and bring Ian. Arrange to meet this person for coffee tomorrow but leave Ian with a bit. We can't do stuff tomorrow, we have plans! Wait, but the coffee and the jazz concert at night. So that'd yeah, be okay? Yeah, so this is during yeah. the day. Okay. Should we meet with random person? What do you guys think? Should we meet with the random fan who's emailing us and asking to get coffee with us and meet the robot? Tell, me, tell <laughs> us all 600,000 of you. From Robot Obsession? 1987. Uh, this is why I don't email. Emu, emu, emus are awesome emus. <laughs> we have, we can arrange to meet to, for coffee tomorrow and bring Ian, arrange to meet this person for coffee tomorrow, but leave Ian with a babysitter or politely decline. Those uh, are we our have options. a yes, a yes, and a no. Yes can be split into two options. Again, you can, you can either bring the robot with us or leave it. I, I think know. we should definitely leave it. Bring the robot. Really? I don't know who this person is. I mean, I guess, but like, oh no. Um, hey, thanks. Yes, from A Studios. It's robot Baby. Obsession. Why would I bring my robot to meet with someone named Robot Obsession <laughs> I've never met before? He's nice, I don't know. Um, the return of Mr. Maldark says, Yes, cuz YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> um, Avery says, Babysitter. Maldark says, Bring. I think. I'm. I, I'll go meet them, but I'm gonna leave Ian at home. I don't. I don't trust bringing the robot. Ian will remember this. Ian uh, won't mind. Ian's reasonable. We've made it a very I'll just reasonable watch robot. TV. Yeah. <laughs> Ian is Abed. Ian will be perfectly fine sitting at home watching. Ace Studios Gaming says, "Don't bring the robot." The short line gamer KSP says, "I think that it's Ziebler. That would be a twist." Who is Ziegler? Ziegler. Z oh, Ziegler. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Chief, I wonder if I will ever get free from the cobweb named chat. I, that sounds like a personal problem. The, the what? The yeah. cobweb named chat. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Um, Devin Drinn, I'm just saying random stuff because I'm not paying attention. <clears throat> oh. Oh, well, glad to have you. <laughs> Avery Curry says, I win. That's not true. Um, <laughs> Zeon rocks. He will be fine. He was literally raised by television. Um, okay. Alright, you write back that you would love to meet Silas, but Ian probably shouldn't be meeting strangers just yet. <coughs> Silas write back, writes back almost instantly, agreeing to the meeting and peppering you with questions about yourself and Ian. Not having time to reply in full, you write back a short email promising to talk more tomorrow. What will you do this evening? Try to improve Ian's social graces before he goes out in public again. Improve Ian's self-defense in case someone tries to attack him. Or I'd prefer to give myself some quiet time to read. That's boring. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, on the one hand, that's ominous. Like, the whole self-defense thing. I kind of want to do that. On the other <laughs> that hand, though, like... like a, that's like when you go to... When you're, like, in a video game, and you enter this weird antechamber mm -hmm. with no enemies and health packs everywhere. Yeah, like, I mean, uh -huh. On the other hand, like, the game has been very clear through some not-so-subtle channels that we are really supposed to be specializing in one area. Like, we got blasted a couple times for being too general. So... Like, we probably shouldn't be, like, overly trying to bump up military when we've done so much... I guess. I'm leaving him at home. Yeah, alright. We can uh, improve Ian's social graces, I guess. I guess Ace, it's better to Ace Studios Gaming, thanks for joining. We are playing Choice of Robots, where we make our choice of a robot. We are Rosie L. Cazorro, currently in a somewhat of a relationship with Ellie, the user experience designer. Or we should be, like, typing up a summary in the description as we go, so that we can just, like, point people to it. Maybe. Oh, hey, you, so... Because I think you can do that from there. Well, you know what we can do? Huh? Um, uh, let's... You have Skype open, right? Where? Oh, on Rachel's computer? Yeah. Yeah. Rachel? Mm-hmm. 
Can you copy paste the summary? Let's, uh, um, let's finish chapter three and then we'll yeah. copy paste all those summaries. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we're making a robot. His name's Ian. He's pretty cool. All right. Um, so you want to mm -hmm. do try to improve Ian's social graces instead then? If we want to try to specialize a little bit more? That is my personal preference. Okay. All right. We'll go with that, I guess. All right. Let's do a little role playing, you tell Ian. Pretend I'm a reporter. Do you have any plans to take over the world or replace human beings? Ian lets out a robotic whimper. <laughs> Are they really going to say that? Maybe. You prepare Ian for some of the more aggressive questions reporters might ask. After a little while, Ian does understand a bit better now how cruel people can be. Plus two to empathy. Mm. That was a sad <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Uh, the next morning, you drive to... I don't know what happened to my words there. They just kind of petered out. <laughs> Rachel, you want to try reading, or are you are you sleeping? I'm you basically sleep? asleep now. <laughs> Baby, get a, I'm sorry. Get I'm a root so beer. tired. No, I don't want any caffeine. I just want to go to sleep. I love this game, but I have been so sleep deprived <clears> this week. I need my to catch up on. I'll tell you what, why don't you take an hour nap, and then we will uh, okay, annoyingly you wake you up. Wake me, you can try to wake <laughs> me up in an hour and see how that goes for you. I'm going to my bed, but I love you all. Okay. The next morning, you drive to San Jose to meet Silas at a Dunkin' Donuts. Man, we're classy. That's, well, shifty, shifty meeting, shifty place. Uh, Silas is a heavyset man with a giant black beard who <coughs> can't seem to stop drumming his fingers and shaking his leg under the table. Classic signs of very stable personality. <laughs> really glad we left Ian. <laughs> at your entrance, he turns to you quickly startled, but at your arrival, he breaks out into a broad smile and waves excitedly to the opposite chair. You oblige. Oblige. Oblige? You oblige, Silas, oblige. and take a seat. You oblige, Silas, and take a seat. <clears throat> Thank you for coming. Silas says. <laughs> no problem, you say. I'm not used to people, he says, clearly nervous. I don't... I can't. He seems to be on the verge of hyperventilating. How do you feel about Silas at first sight? I think I've already expressed this. I find myself really attracted to him. He's a loner like me. No. No, okay. Our <laughs> life has not gone that poorly, all right? <laughs> We uh, may have, our, our, our slick dating moves may be sticking pickles in light sockets, but we are not <laughs> that bad. How many people are around that saw that part? <laughs> oh, probably, um, uh, uh, KSP. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dunkin' Donuts is terrible compared to Tim Hortons. Are you Canadian? Who's Canadian? Like, yes. Ace Studios Gaming. Huh. Do we have them? I don't think we have any Tim Hortons here, do we? If, I mean, if we do, they're up north. They wouldn't be in Texas. Minnesota? Um, so either I find myself really attracted to him, he's a loner like me. I know how it feels to be an outsider. We might be friends. I sort of feel sorry for him, but I certainly wouldn't date him. If that's what all these options are about, then correct. Um, let's make this short and sweet and hit the road. <laughs> um, I think we're maybe in a, in a place where... C is an okay thing. I sort of feel sorry for him, but I certainly wouldn't date him. Yeah, I kind of think it's weird that it comes after the we might be friends, but, you know, those Californians. I, I have I have no way of seeing whether or not we might. I don't know who this guy is. I mean, I, like, we couldn't remember the social media passwords. We have to have some empathy here, right? Yeah. I can empathize, but I don't know if I can say we might be friends. I don't no, 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 but I think choice three is okay. I feel sorry for him. Um, I'm going to watch Cryotic. Bye. Bye, Devin Drennan. Bye. I hope you get that food. And Dunkin' Donuts and Tim Hortons fall in comparison to my hometown's donut shop. That's probably true. Um, I've seen Tim Hortons in upstate New York. Ah, uh, yes. Might as well be Canada, as it's called. <laughs> I don't actually know. That's I, I don't have any key into... New York culture. I can say that Oklahoma is all the Texas we didn't want, but I, I can't transpose that onto New York, so you can help me there. Hi, Carbonic Bucky. Hello to you, too. It's okay, you say, with a note of condescension you can't quite hide. You hope he doesn't pick up on it. You consider what you want to say to Silas. Um, we have either, it's nice to find someone who likes robots as much as I do, tell me more about yourself. Or, I'm kind of in a rush, but please tell me your life story while I chug my coffee. 
I don't like either of these options. I don't like either. I think we made a mistake. <clears throat> one gives me more information than I want, and one's kind of rude. <laughs> um. And I guess the, the first one is Polite, fairly right? harmlessly friendly. Uh, say, say, General, tell me more about yourself. Mm -hmm. Go with that one. At your encouragement, Silas starts babbling enthusiastically. <coughs> Silas tells you that he used to work as a mechanical engineer for government <coughs> for a government contractor that produced autonomous drones for the government. I thought they weren't autonomous. <laughs> Slightly different autonomous drones, I guess. Just cleared secret. Uh, what? Just cleared secret. Nothing major. I don't. As in, I just barely got secret access. Not top secret, uh, okay. and not super top secret. I just got secret, so it's not like I was that big of a deal. He says, as if this level of access to classified information were not a big deal. Eh? But his clearance put him in an awkward middle ground where he knew just enough to make him paranoid about the government's intended use for the drones. He believed, but could not prove, that they would be put to some bad use that he could not talk about. <coughs> he swears. I forgot to turn off my phone. This is my voice. Oh, right. I forgot to turn off my phone. Please, turn off your cell phone if you have it on. I'm not saying anything classified, but... Just in case. Yeah, is we, this? Is this? Do we decide to go to coffee with what's his face? Yes, yeah. he's some large bearded man. Oh, he's really fat. I, this is my uh, my my Wilson Fisk voice. <laughs> <laughs> I just suddenly reminded me that there was somebody recording things on our phone earlier in this game, yeah. and we never came back to that. Well, we, we got a new phone. Well, oh, yeah. Now, we, it's, now that phone is inside Ian. Oh yeah. Oh, God. Did we erase the malware first? But, or are they just getting a live stream of television 24-7? <laughs> You're um, right. What, yeah, what, we didn't address that at all. No, it didn't. God. Earlier in the game, there was like, uh, we found some Ooh. kind of virus in our phone in that was like... In the middle of a date, and she had just touched our hair. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, okay, so our, spies on you at inconvenient times. What can we say? our responses are, you're right, someone could be spying on us even now, which we know to be true. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, oh. sure, why not? Uh, yeah, okay, as a lie. Or no, nobody is listening to us, pull yourself together. So, actually, this is just the pathetic, socially awkward version of Mark, kind of. Yeah, kind of. He has the same, same kind of opinions. <coughs> <coughs> Um, I'm up for agreeing with him. He's not incorrect. <clears throat> I mean, although ours, our bugged phone is actually not here because we left it. No, but it's just like, I, it's not that we don't, we know that it's a possibility. <laughs> okay, the question though is, do we want to go for the full bore? Oh, yeah, yeah. Or do we want to go for the lighter? Just the sure why not. Like, there's a, the... Maybe not encourage him too much. He doesn't seem like he's super stable. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, they're just sure why not. Um, uh, Mr. Mulder says, I knew it, he is a murderer, he is going to kill you and steal Ian. <laughs> and H Studios Gaming would be says I would be paranoid about autonomous US drones as well. Yeah. Um we yeah, have you oblige Silas reaching into your pocket to power down your phone. Silas can tell you don't believe him. But seems relieved that you're at least willing to go along with it. Good enough. And then Silas is talking. Anyway, I quit my job because I just couldn't take it anymore. Not knowing what my work would be applied to. I've always loved robots. It just seems like it's hard to find a job in robotics that doesn't involve working for a military contractor. That's why I was so excited to read the article. Because surely someone as amazing as you is going to start a world-changing company. Like Google. Or Apple. Or all those other companies that started in a Silicon Valley garage. So I was wondering, do you think you could offer me a job in your robot company? Alright. Well, uh, we didn't do that. <laughs> from cool Snap, where's the game? It's a It actually looks oh, yeah. like a pretty boring, like an online survey. It's yeah. nothing to look at. It's We're not text. showing the... Yeah, there's, there's really nothing good looking about Plus, the game. if we showed you the text, you wouldn't be relied, reliant upon our voice acting, <laughs> and I, that you could skip right past, and that's not going to fly. Yeah, it's, it's literally just a white screen with black text on it. Um, which it doesn't need any more than that, it's just it doesn't really make for interesting visuals. Not that we make for much more interesting visuals, but <laughs> slightly better option at least. 
Um, so we have uh, our three options are, that's what I'll do, I'll start a robot company, you could be my first employee, or, sorry, I don't have a company, and I don't plan to start one, or, submit your resume to this email address and we'll see what happens, that's a lie. So, like, <clears throat> hmm. here's the thing, on the one hand, I'm kinda just getting a teensy little wiggling feeling that maybe we're supposed to start a robot company. What, what responses we're getting from the chat are generally don't hire him. Skeevy about silence, which I think is a fair representation. Yeah, I honestly can't tell. Like, I, like if he's if he's just paranoid, I'm okay with that. I'm I'm more worried if he's like scheming to try to get closer to the robot. I can't tell which one it is. So, I mean, I guess if we tell him to submit the resume to the email address, we'll technically have his resume. He could change our mind later. <laughs> You're just gonna um, say that. I am going to wake Rachel up in a bit. All right. really Submit your resume to this email address and we'll see what happens. That's our response to Silas. Uh, you write the contact email for Josh's company, US Robots, on a napkin. Oh. oh. A real lie. Oh. A pretty big lie. Okay. And hand it to Silas. Thank you. Silas says, carefully folding the napkin and putting it in his back pocket. This means a lot to me. I'm also getting a bit of Kylo Ren in there, I think, now. Um. Having basked in Silas's adoration long enough for now, and you've been him for a while. Farewell. That afternoon, you glance outside your window and see Silas skulking behind a hedge across the street as if he's casing your place. Alright, maybe we made the correct decision. Thanks, Chad. <laughs>